Hey guys, how you doing today? So now we're almost done with the calculator. So now when we press the three, two, one, all the numbers work. So but the plus button doesn't do anything yet. So when I click it you would expect that this will return back to zero and when I click the next number it will be just three. It wouldn't be this whole number. And the equal button doesn't do anything. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make those buttons do something. So first thing what we have to do is we have to come here and we, we this is the, what happens when we click the equal button so we didn't say which form we want to submit now we only have one form but we still have to say which form we're submitting so we get the form ID which is calculator and go back up to the top and click and paste that ID so now when we do it it will submit that form but however, when we click the plus button, the stir button, it doesn't do anything. So let's actually minimize all the buttons that we're not using right now, actually. Okay, I went ahead and just minimized everything, just to save time. Anyway, so you don't have to minimize it, I just did it to make it a little more neat so you could see. Now, when we click the plus button which is right over here we want it to do this so what we have to do is we have to tell it to do that so we come here to the plus button and we type in on click and then type in button plus on click because that's what we named the function and then same thing for the minus so copy this, paste it here, and then change this to button minus, because we named it button minus. And then over here, button stir. So type in on click, and button stir on click, and over here, button, wait, back to on click, on click equals button slash okay and now what we do is we go to the equals and say button equals so on click equals button equals so now what it does it fires the these events when the buttons clicked. Okay, so now let's try this. So right now when we click three and then we click the plus, it just goes blank. So that's not good. So why does it do that? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna see. So a type of equation does this equal so when we click the button plus it comes here and checks this value. So let's go down and see what this equals. Oh, so we, so what we're going to do is, the reason for that is because this has a value. This is supposed to change the value to name. And then, this, we're going to change it to name. And this will leave it value. So now when we click it, it will be work, working. So now 3 plus 3, 2 equals. And then it sends the information, but when we send it, the PHP didn't do anything with it, so it just basically refresh the page. So 2 plus 3, and it sends it, but the PHP just refreshes the page. So what we want now is we want to make the PHP actually do something. So what we're going to do is, we're going to type in, question, oops, PHP, question, last. and now we have the PHP tags, and let's do the PHP code. So first what we're going to do is we're going to get the uh, submit. So we want to make sure the form is submitted. So we're going to type in form submit. And then we're going to make it equal underscore post. And then we're going to put submit. And we get this because in the form we created this as a hidden uh, value. Hidden value, yeah. And then we're going to type in equation. And then that equals 
and it's called post and what we're going to do is we're going to type in type of equation so now what we're going to do is we're going to see how we spelt it because I think I spelt this wrong see this is how I spelt it so I spelt the equation wrong but I have to keep it exactly how I spelt it otherwise it won't work so I'm going to paste that over there and now what we're going to do is we're going to copy you know I'm just going to copy this paste it and paste it okay so then what we're going to do is we're going to put number one which is under the hidden value I think it's hidden and then we're going to put second number so this is what this is it tells us should we add it subtract and this is the two numbers that we do the equation to so yeah so now what we're going to do is if boom submit does not equal nothing so that means it has some value it doesn't matter what the value is as long as it has some value then we're going to make under the if, if statement and then we're going to type in hold on why is this all the same hold on we're going to make this a new variable because then this is going to overwrite the last variable and we're going to make this second number okay so now let's do it so if equation equals plus so that means to add then what it will do is we'll make a another variable and make it equal answer so a answer hold on let me scroll down and we're going to make it equal the first number plus the second number because we're adding so first number plus second number now we're going to copy this code and we're going to type in else and paste the code so else if, if it equals minus so then we're going to do first number minus the second number so yeah and then we're going to copy it again and just change it to multiply so multiply and this will change this to a stir and then change this to divide and then change this to a slash and then we're going to make an else and then what we're going to do is we're going to put die and put no equation given and then put a exclamation point to make it look well and the last thing what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down and we're going to copy this and paste it and then what we're going to do is get rid of the id it doesn't need an id and we'll change the name to submit the name and the value and then you could put whatever value because over here as long as it doesn't equal nothing you could put in hello anything you want okay then let's debug this now if we put 3 plus 3 it actually sends the information to the PHP but the PHP does do this line of code but it doesn't tell you the answer what we're going to do is put a die and put the variable answer and type in your answer is and then put an exclamation point and yeah let's see this so now I put 6 times 6 equals and it says your answer is blank whoops and we come back here and we find out I put 2 equals so this is why it's always good to debug and check. So let's try this again. 3 plus 3. See, it works. Okay, so that's all for now.